Well, congratulations, Hugo and Jan. That was a pretty tough three-setter out there. What was it like with the loud Aussie crowd behind your backs? Uh, yeah, uh, crazy atmosphere, crazy atmosphere. Uh, it's the second time for me playing in Australia. First time in such a big stadium and against Aussies at home. So it's, uh, it's probably one of the toughest conditions to play tennis. Uh, in, in, the, in the whole world. So we're very happy to get that win and we're looking forward to play third round. Well, um, you've had a pretty fantastic 2022 together. The partnership looks like it's going from strength to strength. Talk to us about the match out there. Here? Yeah, today. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> it's never easy to play against those guys. You know, Aussie, uh, Aussie crowd is probably the best in the world when it comes to support Aussie. So. And uh, Max is a hell of a player, you know, he won Wimbledon, uh, two finals here. Uh, yeah, so it was a very, very, very tough match. We were really happy to be through. But when it goes down into the third set tiebreaker, how much of it becomes more about mental um, than physical? 100%. Well, 100%. Well, if it comes down to six all in the third, then it's all mental. Like, you, you can tell from the score, it's 50-50 throughout the whole match. And it only come down, uh, comes down to the mental side. Uh, I, I, I was, we were lucky enough to play that one 10-point breaker back in Roland Garros last year, so that kind of helped to adjust a little bit more to the longer breaker, at least, at least for myself. So, uh, very happy to get that win again. And, yeah, it's a great atmosphere. Looking forward to the next match. Well, congratulations. Good luck for that third round. Kia Arena, please put your hands together for the winners, Hugo Nice and Jan Zelensky.